So there's a lot of things to do in Toronto. There's a lot of like restaurants, anything you can think of, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, anything you can think of. We are pretty diverse in Canada, especially in Toronto. There is no nationality that dominates Toronto. I think that's the one thing that really stands out in Toronto than, than other places. Everyone's very friendly, not only the fighting game players, but also just the local wildlife is also very, very friendly. It gets cold in the winter, um, really cold. I don't mind it. I, I like the I like the Four Seasons. We have the CN Tower. We also have a lot of Hall of Fames here. We have a lot of hockey. So yeah, it's cool. It's been an experience that I feel like I'm lucky I got. I keep thinking that, like, man, what are you doing here? Canada. Canada and the Toronto area in general are a pretty key area for the Canadian FGC. I mean, it's not often that Toronto has majors such as Canada Cup, and when Tekken 7 FRs come to town, I mean, uh, we're pretty excited. When I played in casuals before the tournament, I was very surprised because you never hear about Canadian talented Tekken players ever. A lot of these players were good. They knew what they were doing and they were, you know, it's a new game for everyone and these guys were ready. For a lot of these guys in Canada, I think this is their first time touching the game and it was the day of the tournament all the way up until top eight. It's tough because they don't know what they're doing. They're all playing around and the local players are just beating them left and right. So you can clearly see the difference between the local players and the players that are not. Oh my the God. The rear. Oh, oh, oh my God. It. That's gonna be Unbelievable. It. Mark Unbelievable. plenty of opportunity. So the main goal right now is we really don't want another heartbreak like what happened to MYK at SCR. All of us are worried about Puka winning and opening up that 10th spot. From what I've seen, it seems like a really tall wall to climb. And Punko, in every game he touches, is a threat. I'm still rooting for my boys. I'm rooting for Canada. Neil Russell, I want him to do it. So okay, he has it. an opportunity here. Oh, do it! He had it. Oh, oh and Neil Russell God. with the emphatic Canadian fist. So I'm basing everything on experience in Tekken 7. But it's tough. It's uh, Punko's a great player. He really is, uh, and I'm happy that he's playing Tekken. I hope he stays consistent with it. Neil Russell's gonna have to do something, or it's all over here. Oh, oh. and that's it. Neil Russell goes down. What a great match between these two. If you ask me, SoCal Regionals was a way more stacked tournament than this. Yeah, it is. So who here is gonna beat this guy, right? I have to play him in winners tomorrow. We don't know how that's gonna go, but hopefully one of us is gonna take the spot for Nationals. I plan on beating him tomorrow. His, his offense is crazy. People aren't familiar with Akuma. I know that he can't defend well against the way I play Tekken. From what I've seen, he has a lot of defensive weaknesses and I really do think I can beat him. Who's gonna beat Punko? If anyone looked at this field, they would be like, well, it's gonna have to be Ares, right? Oh, money. Punish. Nice, and he's gonna close it out here. Oh no, very close. Oh, oh. he don't know that either. He don't know he that. Don't know That's that. a 10 string, baby. He don't know that. Oh, he had an opportunity there. Oh. Air Tatsu EX style. This is where he's scary. He does that meter. That's what I was talking about. You saw him go for the Air Tatsu. Low three. Ah. He's always going to go for that. He has no choice. And he had meter. Oh. Tries to go for Wild Rising 2. No punish. Oh, that's going to be it. Boko moving on. Nice block. Uh -oh. oh, he doesn't go for the jet upper. But it doesn't matter. Hey, Joey Fury on the scoreboard. One round apiece. Oh, nice. Text right at the end. Avoids that down three. Of oh, course. And the dragon punch. Of course he's going to do it. Okay. Nice. Follow up. Oh, tries to get that down for one. To... Gotta respect nice. It. Gotta respect nice, it. simple punish. Take the round. Don't get too greedy. You gotta respect it all the time. Nice. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Down back that one. Fury. Yeah, that was nice there. He was able to shoulder check. Oh, good stuff so far. Everything working out. Down back one. Oh, nice volcano buster. Push oh, he could have gone for the range arc. And he dropped the combo and eats a counter hit down four. Down three again. Nice punish. He should have let him land. He would have been able to get a full combo. Oh, oh, this is gonna hurt big time. Oh, oh man. man. 
Uh oh, this is big damage. Oh, that's man, it. Gonna be and that. Secret Funko takes it. Moves He's moving. On. Yep, moving on to Grand Finals. Grand Finals, Tekken 7 Fatal Retribution, avoiding the puddle errors versus Team Secrets Funko. Oh, the neutral jump. And of course, oh, Ares with the low barrier. He should be able to Go take Raze it. Art. Going to Raze Art. Wow, he never goes to the Raze Art, but takes the first round anyway. Oh, he almost let it rip. Right. It's going to be big Burns damage. Needed this time. Probably going to get a wall. Nope. Probably going to get a wall break. Nice using that crawl away. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. he caught him ducking. Rising 2 was right to the camp. He needs to be really careful. He had a lot of chances to close Oh, he's going to catch him. Oh, oh. Eris. Yo, the murderer? Punch. Oh, what a sidestep there from Eris. Nice. He can stay with the tailspin. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Yo, That's going to hit. It's not going to kill, though. Dragunov has a chance. He has a sliver of life right now. All right, and this time goes for the Rage Art. This is going to do a lot of damage total. Mm -hmm. Gonna have one mix up afterwards. I think he's gonna go for a running too. It was we'll the sailboat captain in the shower. Wow, lots of damage. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. Wake up low. Rage art this mother. Rage art him. Oh no! Oh, oh and the punish. He blocked the ten string. He's really good. His solutions for his big problems are an uppercut that ruined your frame trap or really messed up your mental state of mind. It's hard to recover, especially for an old man like me, right?